Okay, I think we can start the first session for today that is about fuzzing. And we are gonna have three papers. Unfortunately, for this first paper, the, the authors could not be here. So this paper will be presented by Hu Lin Chen. So uh, she's per pursuing her PhD uh, in the College of Computer Science and Electronic Engineering at Hunan University. And she works on IoT perceptual security. And uh, so let's look at this first paper, Deep Go, Predictive Directed Gray Box Fuzzing. And for this paper, if you have any question, unfortunately, she will not be able to answer. OK, let's okay. thank the speaker. Um, hello, everyone. The, the order can't, can't come to the conference due to visa issue. I will present on their behalf. The paper titled is Deep Go, Predictive Directed Green Box Fuzzing. My presentation is divided into four parts, including background, motivation, design evaluations, and conclusion. The first part is background and motivation. Fuzzing is a effect Fuzzing is an effective approach to discovering vulnerabilities. Fuzzings use an eva evolutionary algorithm to generate inputs that can cause enormous runtime behavior. Representational works include AFL, Google's OSFATs. However, not all codes are equally important since only a small portion of codes has vulnerabilities. Thus, directed green box fuzzing are designed for testing the given target code locations. It's applied for scenarios including patching testing, bug, pre bug reproduction, and the potential bug code verification. Mainstream DGF techniques use the fitness matrix, such as seed distance, to assist an energy assignment. Seeds with short distance are regarded as promising. To enhance the directional the state of the art DGF works propose heuristic methods to optimize fitness matrix or exclude the in irrelevant codes. However, those heuristic methods usually lack like foresight on passings that have not been exhausted yet. As a result, the hard to exec exec execute her policy will handle DGF from reaching the target sites. For example, we are using the BB distance as the fitness metric. Seeds with shorter distance are prioritized without considering the pipe's visibility. As a result, these pipes where complex constraints will handle fuzzing from reaching target sites. To address this above limitations, we aim to propose the price transition model and model DGF as a process of reaching the target sites through specific price transition sequences. Each price is covered by unique seed and the mutations on inputs would cause price transitions. For instance, in this figure, the yellow nodes represents the target basic block and it is covered by optimal price Pass three. The father may have mutation and mutation two on seed one and seed two to generate seed three. The true mutation calls two pass transitions and still the father to generate optimal pass to reach the target. Based on this pass transition model, we aim to design a predictive directed green box version that can predict the pass transitions and uh, intelligently generate the optimal and available price to the target sites. To realize our goal, we need to address three challenges, how to predict the price transitions, and how to determine the optimal price, and how to exercise the, the optimal price transition sequences. To address to address these challenges, we design the virtual ensemble environment Develop the reinforcement learning for fuzzing model and propose the concept of the action group and the MPSO algorithm to get the fuzzing to exercise the optimal price transition sequences. Next, we introduce the design of DeepGo. This finger represents the overview of DeepGo, and DeepGo mainly consists of four components. 
The first component is directed green box fuzzing components. The components continuously mutate things to generate inputs for reaching the targets. To address challenge one, we introduced the, we introduced the price transaction model. The second components is the second components is virtual ensemble environments. The historic price transition will be used to train virtual ensemble environments to predict the price transitions. The third component is reinforcement learning for fuzzing components. We use the historic and predicted price transitions to train the RLF model to know the policy that can maximize sequence rewards. The first component is fuzzing optimization components. In this components, we optimize optimize fuzzing strategies and steel fuzzing to exercise the optimal price transition sequences. Then we introduce the design of price transition model to evaluate price transitions and mutations. We propose the concept of rewards and expected sequences rewards and firstly use seed value to evaluate pricing. The seed value is calculated based on four factors Seed distance, difficulty, execution speed, and whether the seed is favored. Based on the four factors, we use interval weight methods to calculate the seed value. With the seed value, we calculate the reward and use it for tuple to denote the price transition. Moreover, to evaluate the contribution of mutations and price to reaching the target site. We define the calculation method of expected sequence reward and transition value of price when using the policy pie to select price and mutations. To predict the price transitions and the corresponding rewards, we design virtual ensemble environments to imitate the price transition model. The virtual ensemble environment is constructed by deep deep neural ne networks and uh, trained by the data provided by the historic reply buffer to imitate the uncertainty of price transitions in fuzzing. We use the growth prob probability distribution to predict the next price and rewards. To elevate the issues of epistemic uncertainty, we use the average of the probabilities and the rewards predicting from world deep learning the historic price transitions are stored in the historic reply buffer and they used to, they're used to train virtual ensemble environment. Then well-trained virtual ensemble environment is used to predict the price transitions to train RLF model. To know the policy that can steer the fuzzing towards the high reward price transition sequences, we developed the reinforcement learning for fuzzing model. The RLF model consists of actor network, a q creek network, a v creek network. We train the q creek tiger network to evaluate, evaluate the expected sequences reward and train the v creek tiger network to evaluate the transaction value of each price. The actor network is trained to optimize the policy to increase the probability of select actions with an expected sequences reward. Since the fuzzer will stay on a certain price and take actions to cause price transitions, the RLF model cannot obtain a complete price transition sequences with uh, several seconds. Therefore, historic reply buffer would store historic price transitions in each fuzzing cycle and train the VE and the RF model in next cycle. To combine historic and predicted price transactions to train RLF model, we use virtual ensemble environments to emit the price transaction model and employ case step match rollout strategy to ob obtain predicti predicted price transactions. To gather the fuzzle to exercise the optimal 
Pi's transaction sequences, we propose the concept of the action group and the multi-elements particle swarm optimization algorithm to optimize fuzzing strategies. We define the action group as a type consistence of five elements. Each action group is represented as a 27-dimensional vector. To optimize the five elements in the action group, we treat each action group as a particle and view the optimization as a multi-elements optimization problem. The algorithm one shows the process of MPSO algorithm during the fuzzing process. MPSO updates the best location for each element and uh, optimizes fuzzing strategies for realized optimum price transition sequences. The third part is evaluations. In our evaluation, we compare typical with the baseline fuzzers that were available, including vendor Ranger, Bitcoin, Prime, Sen, and AF Go, where the experiments were repeated five times within a time budget of 24 hours. To evaluate the performance of DeepGo in terms of reaching the targets, we tested the 20 programs from Unibench with a total of 18 target sites and evaluated the attempts to reach targets. According to the results of TDR, DeepGo, DeepGo can reach the most target sites within the time budget. In terms of mean TDR, DeepGo can outform all the baseline functions. Therefore, we can conclude, conclu conclude that DeepGo can reach the target sites faster than baseline functions. To evaluate the performance of DeepGo in terms of exposing no vulnerabilities, we used a CVE benchmark used in AFLGo test suites and evaluate the time to expose vulnerabilities. According to results of TTE, DeepGo, DeepGo exposed the most compared to the baseline functions. In terms of mean TDE, DeepGo can outform all the baseline functions. Therefore, we can conclude that DeepGo can expose no vulnerabilities faster than the baseline functions. To demonstrate the optimizations of DeepGo can enhance Direct learners will remove VE from DeepGo to form DeepGo V, remove RF and FO from DeepGo to from DeepGo R. Then we run DeepGo, DeepGo R, and DeepGo V on Unibench for the TTR experiments and compare the TTRS. According to the TTR results, DeepGo can reach more target sites than DeepGo V and uh, DeepGo R. Moreover, DeepGo outperforms DeepGo V and DeepGo R in the mean TDR. This results demonstrate that VEE, RLF, and FO components have significant impacts, impacts on reducing, reducing TDR. To observe the impact of very gamma and key on DeepGo, we utilize DeepGo with different uh, hyperparameters on configurations to test 20 programs from Unibench and recorded the mean TDR for each test case. According to the TDR results, we observed that when gamma equals to 0 0.8 and k equals to 4, DeepGo can achieve minimal TDR and the setting of gamma and k has a small impact on TDR. If the value of gamma is between 0 0.5 and 0 0.9, the value of k is between 3 and 5. The first part is conclusion. We propose DeepGo to steal DGF to reach targets where optimal price. We first propose the price transition model to model DGF as the process of reaching the target sites through specific price transition sequences. Bas Based on the price transition, we conclude a virtual ensemble environment to predict price transitions. Then, we develop a reinforcement learning for fuzzing model. Learn the policy that can steer the fuzzing towards the high reward price transition sequence. 
Finally, we propose the concept of action group and the multi-elements particle swarm optimization algorithm to steer further to realize the optimal and uh, variable price transaction sequences. Finally, finally, we propose the. Um, thank you what, for your attention and participation. If there are any questions or discussions, we are come to contact the orders of Deepgo. Thank you. Thank you.